So assembling the end link from Super Pro. These are adjustable end links which I got. So because my car is lowered, I need to adjust the length of the end links to ensure that there is enough load on my sway bars or remove any additional preload. So the way this end links come is, you got two of these rods. It says Super Pro on it. You got four of four end joints. Now they are not all the same. You got RH, RH. This is right hand threaded, and LH and LH. This is left hand threaded. So the way you set them up is you take the Super Pro end link, the center rod. The RH ones go on the side of S where it says Super Pro over here. It says S. The RH ones go on top, and the LH one goes in the bottom. Same goes with the other one. So this is Super Pro end. This is the rod. The link which says RH over here, it goes into the top, means right hand threaded, and the link which says LH on it goes in the bottom. That's how you do it, right? So I'll just assemble them and I'll show you what I mean. So now the link is assembled. I basically these adjusting washers I dropped it all the way down, and then I threaded the link in. So now to increase and decrease the height of the link. You need to rotate this. You rotate, yeah, sorry. You rotate the center part. The link goes out. Rotate the center part clockwise. The link increases in length. You can see it, and it increases in length on the both sides. Once you reach the desired length, depending on what suspension setup you're using and what your height is and how much it is dropped from stock, you desire reach the desired height of this. From the top of this to the top of this, and then you you rotate these lock nuts, and it will lock the link in place. So right now, if I look at it, and you can put a wrench over here. This is a flatted surface, and you can lock this in place so the link won't change in height. Now, why do you need? How do you adjust the height? It's very simple. You measure your car's fender to the ground distance. Right, the fender to the ground distance on the stock tire or on whatever your tires are, on the stock suspension setup, should be let's say is X, and your fender to ground distance on the suspension on the uh, on the modified lowered suspension setup is X minus 15 millimeter. You reduce the length of the link 15 millimeters. That's how it works. So. That way you ensure there is enough preload and when you are installing the links and onto the sway bars, make sure that they are not loaded. Means that the link should be able to freely move into the sway bar straight without having any tension. That's it. That's the end links. Now that I have assembled them, I have to install them. Now you must be wondering what this piece is for. In most Kodas and Volkswagens, the end links are the same part number so that means they go only in one direction so for the driver's side or the right hand side end link you have to attach this if you're using the oem suspension because the end link goes a little in now if you're not using the oem suspension then you're good most coilovers don't need this depending on your coilover setup or your shock absorber setup you may or may not need to add this on the right hand side this is only for the right hand side of this door suspension the left hand side remains as is, like this. Now both the links are assembled. I have set them up the way I want them to be. Now once I get these links, or get the OEM links off the car, I'm gonna first set the link to the OEM height and then reduce the height of the link by 15 or 20 millimeter, whatever my car's actual drop is from the factory suspension settings. And then I'll install them. Now the OEM links are like this. So they are they're only one way. So I think they go they go in like this on one side and on, and like this on the other side. That's why for for the for the right hand side you have this additional extension. So on the right hand side it goes like this. On the left hand side you don't need the extension, it goes like this. So but now the, the adjustable one you can set them up for right hand and left hand orientation by tightening this lock nut. Yeah. So I have different orientations for the left and right hand. So that'll hopefully help. Anyway, these are much stronger than the stamped end links that are there in the stock car. And 
this should help alleviate Another my thing to notice that super pro, pro clearly mentions when you're installing for aftermarket coilovers that you may or may not need this depending on the design of the coilover if your coilover design is simps if the top mount of or the end link on your coilover strut is same as stock which means it's like a c shape mount then you will need this on the right hand side if it is not a C shape mount, if it's a flat mount, then you will not need this. For my Olin's coilovers, I will not need this. Also, when you're installing these coilovers, the instructions that Super Pro gives you very clearly says first install the left hand side, then install the right hand side. So the left hand side goes in first, and then the right hand side goes in. Height adjustment you do beforehand, and then fine tune as required. To ensure there is no preload on the sway bar or adjust the preload as much as you want to okay i think that kind of the ends the instructions for the super this is the super pro end link right hand side in the normal one goes the same way here who comes in from the back over here but for the super pro one is the same side so just make sure and just to kind of make sure it doesn't hit anything steering wheel Left side, the side of the car. 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 Left side, the side of the car.